When I was seven, the movies changed my life. Well, one movie in particular, Mary Poppins. Maybe it had to do with my immediate crush on Julie Andrews, something that made my viewing of Victor Victoria in my later years very disturbing. Or maybe it had to do with my family situation. All I know is that as a seven-year-old boy, it spoke to me. It made me feel understood. It gave me hope. Many years later, when I became a husband and a father of four, it was movies like To Kill a Mockingbird, It's a Wonderful Life, The Shawshank Redemption, that continued to inspire me, enlighten me, and change me for the better. And it was my original fascination with the rooftops of London that led me to leave my home in Seattle and study at Oxford University, where I got the film bug and made my first movie, Privileged, an extremely pretentious piece, starring a fellow student friend named Hugh Grant. Now 11 feature films, 50 hours of television, and countless shorts and commercials later, the movies have indeed changed my life. From the first cave drawing to the first dancer on the campfire, we have been telling stories to help make sense of our world, educate our people, and pass our values and traditions on to our children. It is for this reason that good storytelling is as important as the food we eat or the air that we breathe. For almost a century, Hollywood took on this responsibility with nobility and delivered fine, life-changing films, but not anymore. Now the most common thing you hear about Hollywood is, where did all the good movies go? Now the answer may surprise you. Great movies are still being made, just not very often by Hollywood. Fortunately, independent films have risen to fill the gap and often win Hollywood's own crowning contest, the Oscars. But they are hard, if not impossible, to find because Hollywood still controls the means of distribution. It is for this reason that we created Official Best of Fest, which uses an international army of curators at the top film festivals around the world to discover the best films you've never seen and bring them to you. Over the past three years, Official Best of Fest has enabled people to see these films via gift sets, so did Nordstrom and a number of other stores. Now, we are pleased to announce that starting in April 2011, the American public television system will be broadcasting our 30-part half-hour series called Official Best of Fest Presents the Best Films You've Never Seen, featuring the best family-friendly shorts from around the world most of which are impossible to see anywhere else. Now, many of these gems are award winners and they pack more life-changing punch in just a few minutes than most two-hour Hollywood films. In a youth culture that often seems to be lacking direction, we need these stories out there. Now, this is where I need your help. PBS allows four sponsors to present the show to the public. I have one spot left. Every episode, each sponsor will get two slots one before and one after the show, over 30 episodes, played at least two to six times over in countless U.S. television markets over the entire next two years. It's an amazing deal for any company or organization who wants exposure. This sponsor can help bring back great storytelling to the American and Canadian public. If you feel your organization or you know of another that would like to present Official Best of Fest to the public as a sponsor, and benefit from the prestige, notoriety, and public awareness generated by distributing this show, please contact me, Rick Stevenson, at rick at rickstevenson.com. Thanks so much.